Palestinians get help from abroad, satisfying basic needs. Germany recently increased its humanitarian aid to the people of Gaza for a total of more than 50 million euros so far this year. Most of the funding is for distributing emergency rations to over 1.4 million individuals through the World Food Program, or WFP, and the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees in the Near East, or UNRWA. Financial support is also going to international agencies such as the Red Cross, coping with the coronavirus pandemic. Germany is the Shining World Caring Leadership Award and Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion and the Wise Governance Laureate. Your generosity gladdens our hearts, Germany. We pray that the Palestinians will soon reconstruct their damaged buildings and find solace in the comforting love of Allah. Newly discovered celestial body has a substantial atmosphere. Astronomers from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and the University of New Mexico in the United States have detected a surprising planet 90 light years from Earth. Because it is beyond our solar system and revolves around a red dwarf sun, TOI 1231b is technically an exoplanet that compares in size and density with Neptune. Scientists believe it to be gaseous not solid, and estimate an average temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. That is relatively cool for a small exoplanet and suggests the possibility of cloud formations containing water. Future studies will be needed to determine what elements are present and the circumstances that formed the orb. Well done, high-tech stargazers! We appreciate all astronomers who study the universe, awakening us to the wonders of God's magnificent creation in heavenly splendor. Up next, community in Peru rebuilds ancient footbridge made of grass. Area residents replace Incan rope bridge. The Kiswachaca spanned the Oprimac River in the Cusco region of Peru for over 500 years. It survived the passage of time thanks to regular maintenance by family groups who weaved new grass, ropes, and mats each year. But COVID-19 precautions prevented the restoration activities in 2020, and the structure collapsed in March 2021. Recently, members of the Winchili community determined to rebuild the historic 30-meter footbridge, working from both sides of the ravine until they met in the middle. The knowledge, skills, and rituals related to the annual renewal of the Kiswachaka were inscribed by UNESCO as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity in 2013. Three cheers for the traditional Peruvian artisans. We celebrate your achievement, which reconnects villages as well as the past with the future. May you enjoy rich and meaningful lives in heaven's radiant smile. Inventors evolve portable energy supplies. A Dutch company called eMaggy is developing a battery that could hold up to 70% more energy and last longer than a conventional dry cell by using silicone instead of graphite as the active anode material. Although silicone costs more, the new design is intriguing because it would allow batteries to be much smaller and emit less carbon dioxide. The design has passed initial tests, and if it is proven to be successful, eMaggy plans to build a factory in the Netherlands by 2023. Production would focus on supplying batteries for new cars, but manufacturers could adapt the technology for powering smartphones, e-bikes, laptops, and other mobile devices. Congratulations, eMaggy, on your promising innovation. We pray that humanity will always have the wisdom and compassion to apply its high-tech advancements in peaceful and constructive ways. Masks, gadwaras, and charities help vulnerable individuals survive the pandemic. India's second COVID surge has been hospitals running out of space and supplies as more people need assistance. Many patients have posted their needs on social media, asking for spare beds and oxygen tanks. Religious and charitable groups have responded with impartial kindness and generosity. For example, the Zhanghagipra Mosque in Vadodara converted its worship space into a 50-bed health center. Members of another mosque in Delhi have been distributing oxygen tanks to those who have difficulty breathing. 
a Sikh group in Ghaziabad has reportedly delivered oxygen to more than 7,000 infected people. Charity organization Sahara Ahad has been handing out meals in communities afflicted with other illnesses and food insecurity. Our profound appreciation, compassion and instruments of heaven's mercy. May India citizens be blessed with the fortitude to endure their hardships in the protection of the divine. Startup launches vegan versions of all-time favorites. US-based Prime Roots is on a mission to revolutionize protein and make it easier for people to adopt plant-based diets. Co-founder and CEO Kimberly Lee realized that she could use a Japanese fungus called koji to create sustainable whole food meat alternatives with the protein, taste and texture people want. One of Prime Roots' first products was vegan lobster ravioli. This was followed by vegan bacon, available in several enhanced flavors. The company then debuted a range of ready-made meals, including plant-based chicken florentine and plant-based sausage paella. Recently, the innovative firm unveiled four kinds of vegan mac and cheese, lobster, bacon, bacon and green chili, and buffalo chicken. We heartily commend your delicious achievements, Prime Roots. You are in the vanguard of delivering nutritious foods that positively impact the planet. May your business continue to grow in blessings of the Providence. Missing canine is spotted and retrieved by an icebreaker crew. A one-year-old Samoyed named Aika had strayed from her caregivers during a walk around the village of Miss Kamani in north-central Russia. For more than a week, there was no sign of the pup. Then, Russian sailors aboard the Alexander Senikov sighted a fluffy white dog on the Arctic ice, limping toward their ship. The crew lowered a set of steps and encouraged Aika to climb up. Once she was aboard, the ship contacted the village, and residents notified Aika's family. The icebreaker summoned a hovercraft to transport the exhausted animal back to Miss Kamani, where the furry angel rejoined her human companions. A warm round of applause for the crew cool members of the Alexander Senikov. In celestial delight, your compassion in action undoubtedly saved a little dog's life and mended a family's broken heart.